Leading up to King Louis XIV's rule, much tension had grown in Europe as the Thirty Years' War was coming to an end. This war had been caused by disagreements between Protestant and Catholic governments as the Protestant Reformation had occurred a few years prior. France, being a Catholic country, joined this war to fight for their religion. Eight years after France entered this war, King Louis XIV took the throne and would continue to rule for 72 years. After the Thirty Years' War ended, King Louis XIV gave France a golden age through an emphasis of the arts and a growing economy. Shortly into his reign, King Louis began expeditions to gain land from surrounding countries. These expeditions started with the War of Devolution, in which France seized lands from the Spanish Netherlands. France did not keep these lands or continue the war, as the powerful countries of England, Sweden, and Dutch Republic convinced France to return the land in the Treaty of aix la chapelle in 1668. While this war was over, Louis' hunger for new lands had just begun, as the Franco-Dutch War started just four years later. In this endeavor, Louis achieved his goal of adding to the size of France by taking land from the Spanish Netherlands. This war ended with the Treaty of Nimeguen in 1678, giving France the French Comte as well as lands in the Flanders. With the end of this war, Louis decided to focus more on his residence than military endeavors. King Louis' residence when he took power was Versailles, which was only a small palace when he became king. He decided to change the residence into a grand palace to show his wealth and success as king. Louis hired many famous architects to help design the palace to be grand and to feature his greatness as often as possible. One account of, the, of a visit to the palace described the experience in a negative light. The apartment. Two large rooms at Versailles where the king played billiards and served refreshments is an absolutely intolerable experience. We all troop into the billiard room and lie on our stomachs or squat, to no one uttering a word until the king has finished his game. This action shows a major flaw with King Louis XIV because he believed he was a god amongst men which did not help the struggle for peasants in France. This showing of wealth in, in the palace made tensions with the poor much worse, leading to peasants revolting and eventually the French Revolution. King Louis XIV focused on the arts in France during the beginning of his rule, as he believed the increase in culture would help France grow. In 1648, Louis helped painter Carl Lebrun to create the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture in hopes of boosting the arts of the next generations. King Louis also commissioned François Girardon, who was his favorite painter of this time. Also, a new art style was created during Louis' reign for furniture design as a result of André Charles Bouillet's designing the furniture in Versailles. The Goblins factory created this trend, which would spread to countries surrounding France in the years to come, with the furniture often involving designs of shrubbery and mythological subjects. King Louis XIV was able to rule for over 72 years because he improved the arts in France and created Versailles for the French nobility. While these outcomes were beneficial for the upper class, the peasants of France did not agree with many of Louis XIV's policies. Many of their frustrations with the government would play a role in their decision to revolt in the French Revolution. Louis XIV did not concern himself with helping the lower class, as he taxed them greatly and lived luxuriously at their expense. In a letter to Louis XIV, Archbishop Fenelon attempts to show Louis how peasants perceived him. The people themselves, it should be said, who hitherto have loved you, are beginning to lose confidence and even respect. Your victories and conquests no longer cause them to rejoice. They are full of bitterness and despair. They believe that you love only your authority and your glory. There, sire, is the state of things. You live as one whose eyes are fatally blinded. King Louis failed to listen to this archbishop, which would lead to the revolution almost 75 years after his death. 